PC Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, and we last stuff off, we're about to go into the Ultimate Adventures Lab and see what kind of weird shit's going down in here. Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. This is so fucking weird. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. <laughs> Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me, you'll feel much better afterwards. I guarantee she's probably like cleaning out his like crevices and shit. It's not what we think it is. That didn't sound good either, but oh, um, thank you. Oh yeah, your chassis is firm, really firm. Like damn, your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. I mean. But if you think about it, she's like the ultimate inventor, so she would get be horny careful, for a robot button. Be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Oh, I feel so tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> So that's the sound you make when you touch that spot. Good to go. I can't. So wrong. What the fuck is going on? I closed the door without a word. Mew was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed. Nothing but that. Sure. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever you want to tell yourself. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're gonna go here, whatever this is. Oh, this is the imaginary door. Yep. Okay, hold on. I was hitting the wrong button. My instinct is to want to... The fake key for the fake door. See, I knew where two of them go. I just don't know where the fuck that hammer goes. I guessed right on two. I'm so excited. Hmm. The door collapsed. It looks like we can get to the back now. Hmm. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. I mean, we haven't gotten his lab. A world full of jests. Uh, I suppose that's true. Um, who else's lab are we missing? A staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. Uh, I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? I'll protect you, baby. Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Um... Tuxedo is essential for gentlemen, but masks do well. I should go. Uh, yeah, there. I'm trying to go. Oh, that was like, what the? What the? Yeah, I'm trying to go up the stairs, but it's not letting me. Like, why is it not letting? Oh wait, because I'm not hitting the right button. Because I'm an idiot. I'm using, I can't help it, I'm using like the little forward, right, left, back, key, but it's not, you gotta use the, I'm done. Ugh. The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um, what is going on in here? <laughs> yeah, this is creepy as fuck. Actually, so, um, this is a made up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop! If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um, I'll go with you. I mean, <laughs> she's our waifu. What? We gotta take care of her. Oh, but she say a made-up story, so that means it's okay, right? So long. Farewell. 
you know I said it in my head. So what are these rooms? No! Oh! Did you see it? Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. Hmm. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. Aww. It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. The candles on the walls are only the only light in the room. Huh? There's no window here. It get pitch black if candles go out. Right? Oh, uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well, I can't imagine many people do. Hmm. That's not what I wanted to do. I'll investigate around here a little more. Okay. Interesting. The floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh! This floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But, but each floorboard is thick, and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Go to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But, but it's probably dark here. But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. It doesn't look like there's anything important here, just an empty room. Oh! Oh! This not only empty room, you see three same-looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light, too. Hmm. Uh, so there are three of them. Mm. Anyway, we no gotta worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like You're this. Right. True. Um, then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floors are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown wow. in. But there are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste time in an empty room. Can I leave now, then? You made me investigate more. But when we went to go into that room, we saw Manasuke's ghost. Watch. And that Monokuma and the other one's gonna be Monokid. I see, this is exactly like the other room. Would you like to leave? That's fucking weird! And this will be Monokid. Like, I was like, I am not imagining seeing the ghost. It's really dim, so it's difficult to move around. I can see a gap in the corner. I should be careful. Interesting. Oh, I can't hit the... I can't smack anything. Smack anything in this room. There's nothing to smack. I don't... I'm... There's something about these rooms I don't know. But... Anyway, what the fuck is this shit? I can't click on it or anything. That is freaking bizarre. This is someone's lab, but I can't tell what that is. Oh, this must be a door to an ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. I should look inside. I mean, uh, Kyo's lab we haven't found yet. Or what's his face is Kokichi. Ah, okay. It's almost like a museum or library. It's huge and a little eerie. 
There are various objects stored in shells and cases. Some of them seem very rare. It would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? Well, I suppose there's no point in thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Where's my little... There it is. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? But that's... Incredible. Oh, could it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that particular dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this be? Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect? For what? What are the statue in the cage for? I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all of my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. I'm gonna do this because it's like... Okay. There's something in this case. Uh, it's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rusty and... Uh, rusted in places, but it looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? Probably valuable. <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well, that said, that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. It's an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> well, that's super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. Kokichi suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> Wait! You mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warnings and unsheathed the sword. Hmm. Now, this katana is the real deal. Team gold plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly or. Tear out your I will... nerves. Oh, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa! Ew, my hands are all sticky! The gold plating flakes off so easy! But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. I'm gonna snack everything around. Oh, I'm gonna out your nerves. If you do so again. I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. I get it. Scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Keo sounds like when he gets angry. Mm hmm. Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong thing. Boop, exhibit case. Exhibit case. There's a book in the display case. The book cases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Mm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. <laughs> Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. It is! How oh, amazing! It's actually real! Um, what is that book, Kyo? Uh, can it is this be? An extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled cage dog village, said to have been destroyed long ago. The Caged Dog Village? Yes. The Caged Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm... One of a kind. It is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. 
Since I was fortunate enough to, enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. But I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate! Uh, um... Uh, Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. <laughs> But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Suichi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me... You see. So would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. Uh, yes, but talking to the dead... Say... Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead? If it were possible, I suppose I'd like to talk to her one more... No. No. No, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. I One must call myself. on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Oh, I keep using the wrong one. It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all these if I had a million years. Door to hallway. What's this then? Last door. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's the doorway we came in. Oh, so this is a different door. Oh, that's the other door. Okay. What is... This creepy as fuck shit. What the fuck is this shit? This is some. Um, what the fuck is this? Why is there a fucking bunch of bird? Ha what is this? That is just fucking. I don't. Oh, there's somebody else's thing over here. Oh my god, is this what's her face is? It looks like an artist palette. But, okay, her lab is in the scariest fucking place ever. It's the door of an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Hmm. Huh. It's locked? Oh yep, seems like it. Uh, I guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab is some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. Oh, but that was locked, too. Uh, um... If both the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> <laughs> don't give up just yet, because I have a secret, secret technique. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. And why is it locked? That's weird. Yeah! 
Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in here? Hey, hey. I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How push it. Come in, come in, please come in. Ever polite, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. It's weird that it locks, though, huh? Oh, it's cute. Look at all their paint shit. There are various arts and cr carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for huh? me. What does that mean? Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. We said I was going to answer that question. Huh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? Ah. You promised, because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt and then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. Ah! Ah, that's unsanitary. Ah! Oh, whoa, wait, Mama Dumb. We were inviting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. So? So, what's up with the key? Oh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must sh shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. <laughs> Atua's much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star? How? It's the opposite. And then? So, any room where I'm going to make art needs to have a key, but... I'm surprised the Mono Cubs knew yeah. that. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Um, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. Mm. Calm down. I need a one. We know everything about you bastards. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't like that. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Aww. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I cannot forgive that. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Hmm. Now, Mo now, now, Monodom. We haven't given them the key to the room, have we? Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. So then... Let me see that key. Monodom swiped the key from Mana Fanny, then lifted it to his mouth. Um, nom. Ah! Ate it! Ah! Ah, he swallowed it! Beep, beep, beep. Ah! He's flatlining! Uh-oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke Jesus. on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. Get along. I want everyone to get along. Ew. Oh, Monodom, you're so reckless. So, let's carry Monodom away from now. for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long, farewell. Oh. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh, but I'm only going to lock this door when I'm inside working, so... I don't care if I can't open it or close the door from the outside. Uh. Oh, I guess that's fine then. Oh god, she's going to end up in the locked room dead. By the way... By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean the school was specially made for us? Because if we found his lab, I don't think we have. Monokuma's claimed that before, but is that really possible? Sorry, I had to itch my ears so I can't click. This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? Only Atua knows for sure. It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? 
Uh, let's see, anything to actually give a crap about? Okay, so, like, art supply stuff back here? Lump of wax. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Mm. Oh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but that toy is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. Uh, I see. But, but... But, but, it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax death mask. That's kind of scary. That's it. That's the only thing to look at. Aside from the doors. Okay. Let's uh, smack some shit up. So I see all the shit sitting around. I know I can smack it. Oh, Kokiji, am I smacking your face? Am I smacking your face? Oh, look, I can smack everything in this fucking room. Kokiji, get the fuck out of my way. I just want to feed him. I can hit that table, but I can't, like... And he's not going to have any shit when I'm done. Nope, I don't think that's the wood. The wood is getting okay, back over there. I don't know why I can't. There we go. I was like, I don't know why I can't hit this table. I bet I can hit. There we go. So I bet I can hit the ladder. Can't hit that. There we go. She doesn't need her shit anyway. There we go. That's not what I wanted. But investigate what? There's nothing to investigate but the wax. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. No, it's not what I wanted to do. God, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I don't know what the fuck to investigate. Oh, can we investigate these? God damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. I mean, there's really nothing but the monitor and the doors. I guess we could just talk to Angie. What we're supposed to investigate. Ooh, I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. No, there's not. I smacked them out. Wow. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep sea. Uh, um... Now that you mention it, I don't see any completed pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I... I don't need references when Atua is the one who creates the art. So do I. From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Atua. <laughs> What do I need to investigate? I'll investigate around here a little more. There's nothing to investigate, though. We clicked on everything. Oh, oh look, Suichi. The ceiling is, here is pretty unique. Okay, I couldn't click on those, though. You're right. Uh, yeah, exposed beams. Hmm. I wonder. Is it supposed to be like this, or do they just not finish it in time? Oh, man. Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like the time they mixed up the Cubs pads. Uh, I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Because Atua says so. Even Atua says it's more sensitive when the skin's peeled back. Can I, can I leave now? Oh my god, but what? There's nothing to click on. There is absolutely nothing else to fucking click on. The door isn't the one we used to come in. Um, this door's super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See, it's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. I remember correctly. Uh, right, and the door that we used... Yeah. Yeah, that door is a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no, it's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... 
Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And then? But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. Oh, shit. Uh, frick. Okay, hold on. Options. Uh, open transcript. Hold on. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. Okay, so I can leave now? I was like, what? I mean, because most of the time you check the doors and then you just... Okay, so anyway, let's go find the next... Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Hey! What are you doing here? Monica was staring at me in silence, then disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um, I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could he? What could be down there? Oh! What is this? It looks like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. You can't do anything with it? This is the is this the way we're supposed to go? Oh, there's a dot here. There's Monokuma. This is creepy as fuck. I'm going to this is creepy as fuck. I'm going to wrap this part up here, and when we come back in the next part, we'll see what the hell Monokuma wants. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.